Hey everyone, it's Stevio here. I'm getting really tired of driving back and forth to my motel. We need to do something about it. Let's get to it. So we're just pulling right up here. Shut this old dodge off. Uh, yes, the last video I posted, there are a lot of people saying that this was a 12 valve. Uh, that's a 24 valve right there, diesel. Uh, let's open up this gate. Another thing I messed up, it, my paperwork was wrong, is this uh, 99 Ford here has a 7.3 liter in it. So I know a lot of you corrected me on that. So you guys are always good at that. So what we need to do is I want to start the foundation for house. So we need to get to it. Uh, excavator from the city of Moore. The only issue is we need to go pick that up. I think I'm going to use this old international just because I have it. So I need to go find the key. Should be in there. Alright. So let's get this uh, international started. We'll head up and go pick that up. So I'm driving away here. I really need to find something to do with them gates. They're very annoying. I need to find a better gate to put there. So it's going to be on top of the list, but one of the things we need to do is we need to get our house set just to keep our, get a good plantation down here in Iowa, build a house, you feel like you own it. Let's get to the city. So we're pulling in here on County Lines Farm Supplies. So I did call Platt Valley Equipment. And I was trying to get a deal through them, but their excavator was already rented out. So I ended up having to get this excavator. Seems like pretty good. Shut this off. So I ended up going with this one because it has a blade on the back. I think that's... We're going to have to basically clear off a path going up to the house. So we can get equipment up there, building supplies and everything. So let's get this on to the truck. So we got it onto the truck here. Don't think, unfortunately, this does not strap down. Looks like uh, some of the tire air pressure is uh, deflated right there. But hopefully we'll have to take it nice and slow all the way back to the farmyard. We're just pulling in here. Man, that thing sits high. Woo! Glad we didn't go under any overpasses. We might have lost everything. It's riding pretty good for the most part. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge getting this thing off. Uh, we do have a s small ramp over here by our uh, sales lot. And I think we're gonna use that. But might have to do it or find a ditch like the old fashioned. I think maybe we have this little hillside. We might try to see if we can get it unloaded right over here to save some time. Right over here we have this kind of mound that we're going to have to clear off. We'll see if we can unload it right there. So we're sitting in the excavator here. Good thing about an excavator, you could just turn it around. Oh, better, uh... Just turn it around right here after we move the bucket. I'm gonna try driving this off. This is going to be a venture. Probably should 
move the bucket up a little bit. Got to put it in reverse, keep forgetting that. Steer opposite. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there we go. Got this old girl off there. So, it's a little bit tricky because you have to steer opposite when you're facing backwards like this. There we go. Let's go over here. I think I'm going to start blading off right here really quick to get a path back there where I want to build the house. So we're blading this right now. I just want a little bit of path so once we get to our place we could start digging the foundation in. I'm just blading this off here. Just have a little bit farther to go. There we go. Sorry about the hazards. That's what happens when you're driving backwards. So we're still blading here. We're almost to where we need to be for our house. We're not too far now, so just have a little bit farther to go and we should be about to where I staked off our, our house sticks. Alright, we'll stop right there. So, right here this is our foundation stakes. This is where I want to build the house. Right now this is not leveled off, so I'm basically going to take some of this dirt from up here, push it down to level this. I just want a good level platform to start with, and then I am going to, once that's done, then we're going to start digging our the basement for the house, get that started, and the, put in the foundation. Let's get that done. So I've been working quite a bit here. So I got almost everything leveled off. I still need to work on this corner a little bit here. Just need to get this a little bit more dirt pulled out from up there. Get a little bit more and then we can start digging down. So I've been working here got a fair amount dug out at least to start the foundation so now I need to go get some supplies from town and hopefully we can start building the foundation down still getting used to this excavator so not the best getting her done slowly but surely All right, so we just got done with our foundation. Let me show you, shut this off quickly here. So basically we got the foundation in. We ended up going with a rock appearance for foundation. Probably not really necessary, but we did it anyways. So now we need to backfill all this foundation in to make sure it's set. And then we will level that off good enough because this is a few days later. I know usually foundations you need to uh, let them sit for a while. But it's a few days and we're going to level this off so we can start building a house. So we just got done filling up a little uh, to the second foundation and got that set. Go look at it. So we got the second foundation in, so now we just need to fill that up in there, good. And then we are should be able to build on this house. So we're still working here, so what we need to do is fill in the rest of this dirt here on this foundation. So then the contractor should be able to put the house directly up. Uh, might uh, 
time lapse that a little bit. I'm just going to build the house. Uh, I'm also going to work on the path a little bit here. Build that all the way through. And uh, be nice. So let's get to it. guys so I just got done with our little uh, build of our house 
So I tried to make that as realistic as possible. Some of it may have not been the most realistic, but sorry about that. But we are taking this excavator back because it was a rental and we need to return it. This is our little driveway right here. Pull this out. Need to open up our fence here. There we go. Looks like we might have to do a little bit of modifications to the ground level right there, but we'll do that later. Get this pulled out. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.